everyone, this is Shokurazo Hekyoku aka Chikmint and welcome back to our last play of Dating 101 Love Project. In the last playthrough, we finished a round and now we will continue to another round and finish off the stories of our Dating 101 class. Well, let's go! As you can see on the choice here, we have Mason and Felix. The last time we have finished Mason route. Actually, it's not Mason, it's Jason. <laughs> and now we will continue on to Felix. Let's go. Hello there, kitty. If I remember correctly, Felix is our friend. As he walk down the back aisle, sidestep in fallen backpacks, Felix looks up and shakes his head at you with a knowing grin. You nudge his shoulder as you sit down and get situated. You were right. It does look like he's working on his next story for the newspaper. Something about a call to action to get the library more funding. You know you chose to take an 8am. The infamous course Dating 101 is only offered once every two years. But still, Every morning you wonder if it was worth it as the hours get heavier and heavier. No amount of coffee or energy drinks can help you. As the spring sun warms your skin like a soft blanket, your posture gets worse and worse. In a desperate attempt to stay awake, you drown out the class where a tune you can't get out of your head. Oh. The, uh, the mini game is fun at first, but it gets tedious the more you replay the game again. It does make the game longer, I guess, but it's still kind of it. I guess I'm a bit iffy with it since the uh, volume of the game, the musical game, it's like, for example, the current uh, background music is like 20% of the music. The mini game turned it to like 80%. It's like a jump in volume, so I. It's kind of startle people, I guess. So it would make it better if they reduced the volume of the mini game. And maybe shorten the game, like not too long. Like this one, I finished with like. with uh, 28 notes and everything. But uh, if. The, the last playthrough with Jason's date is to go by. I think I would not, I'd rather not get the uh, like 80 notes, which is like <laughs> really long. So a uh, short and uh, medium would be fine. It makes things less tedious. There are moments when you think you're going to conk down to the lullaby. But your willpower reveals over your body in the end, so you can pay attention to the professor's lecture. The number one rule of beating is... Being adaptable. Whoops, the guy who sat at the front's name was Jason, not Mason. Good to know. Okay, this time we will go with Felix's idea because Felix is the babe today. I knew I could count on you, Shokura. You have excellent taste. Flattery. Can take you many places. Alright, I guess that leaves me and Jason to take care of the PowerPoint. I'll research all of the possible activities in the area and make a nice looking chart. So we have more coverage than just the place you do go to. Can you drive me, Felix? 
Is that even a question? I figure I was going to do that anyway. And that's why they pay you the big bucks at the newspaper. Harley, I have another job, remember? Anyway, I can pick you up at your dorm broken lot tomorrow afternoon. I have just the idea. And what is that? It's a surprise. What's dismissed? Let me know if you have any questions about the broadcast during my office hours. You say goodbye to your crib, gather your things, and dash to your next class. You really should optimize your schedule better next year. You get a text from Felix at 5 o'clock on the dot, saying that he's in the usual spot in front of your dorm. Grabbing your bag and keys, you make your way down the stairs into Felix's well-loved little blue car. After sliding into the front seat and buckling up, Felix starts to get on the road leading out of campus. Oh, you dressed in a different color this time. That's nice. I really like the print color. You're in charge of the music, like always. We all know I have. We all know I have the better taste. Hey, twice is art. You keep telling yourself that. Hmm, twice. Is it like the twice twice in reality, or is it another? Um, agile in this uh, reality. Okay, that's definitely that's definitely the the one I was thinking of. Okay, I mean twice is nice, but come on, come on, straight hit, straight hit. A lot of great, great songs. I myself like Mamamoo or B2B, though I'm not like, I'm just casual, really casual. I listen to anything that sounds nice, which are Mamamoo's and B2B more often. And older ones like Big Bang, SNSD, and so on. The old times. <laughs> So let's compromise and play another K-pop group, Straight Kids. I actually uh, listened to Twice and Straight Kids for some song. Twice song is nice. It's just not my type, I guess. Straight Kids has some nice songs too. My friends actually uh, recommended me some good songs too. Very nice. I can appreciate this. Felix starts bobbing his head to the beat. How was your exam the other day? Uh, I'm trying not to think about it. Leave it to me then. No thinking today. Okay. No thoughts. Just fun. Any hints as to where we're going? Felix's only response is a small smirk as he begins to croon the lyrics to the song off key. I guess you're not. I guess you're not going to tell me then. Maybe that was me telling you. In a way. I appreciate your transparency. Journalist's honor. We're almost there. Just a few more turns. The scenery around us becomes a little more familiar. There's that trinket shop that you spend too much money at. The boba shop that's your old-time favorite. And the best cafe near the university with the highest speed free Wi Fi. This is gonna be good. I know, right? Felix pulls into the first parking space he sees, putting his hand on the back of my headrest to make sure he's all the way in the space like usual. His neck bows as he turns. Oh man! Ouch! I think that's my line. Maybe it's time to get a standing desk. If the newspaper paid me enough. Alright, let's go have a good time. Felix definitely steers you away from spending more money than you have on nice plushies. 
until you arrive in front of a slightly rundown karaoke place. Are you sure you want to do karaoke? Why wouldn't I be? I may not have it. I might not be able to carry a tune well, but I know how to have fun. As you know. Well, just wait until I get a higher score than you. Felix laughs as he leads you in. You make the first move to put down your car for the room. Hey yeah, hey yeah. That's an interesting song. My treat. Just get me ball by next time. One Vietnamese iced coffee. Got it. Wait, that's that's pretty bitter. Why, uh, why specifically Vietnamese though? I mean, those are good, but they are quite bitter. If you drink it like iced, um, the one with like um some foam or some milk should be fine. Or or you just dilute it with water. Yes, please! The attendant leads you to an empty room and gives you two max. The night has just begun. Or you just want that really, really... Like, tech. Is that diluted coffee? To make you stay up all night? Because that, um... That type of coffee is really good for staying up. Let's see if you're improved, bad boy. <laughs> I didn't expect for that to go well. <laughs> it looks loud. Ver reverberates throughout the room in a never ending echo. Oh my. <laughs> oh, come on. Why did I do that? Into the mic, too. I wish I got a video of that. But you never been fast enough. There was that one time with you in a student union stairs in a... Got it! Got it! And I found the right song. Let's start singing, shall we? A duet? Really? We have to act like we're on a date. This is typical date behavior. Even though Felix is tone deaf and it shouldn't be hard to get a better score than him, at the karaoke machine, you still can't let your guard down. Your bride is underlined and if he wins, you will never hear the end of it. Press space when you're ready to begin the rhythm game. Okay, please, please rhythm game. Make it short, please. Okay, it's short, thank you. Oh, I'm glad it is short. Let me know where you dropped your mixtape. Here, I have some water. What are the medical drug? Thanks. No problem. You do a few more songs. The classics that you've decided you must do every time you go to karaoke. Which is three times in the past few years, but slowly, it'll become a tradition. Or so, Felix is trying to convince all friend group. That hour went by so quickly. Maybe because you sang We Are The Champions twice. It's my duo to song. You make your way back out to the car in the cool evening breeze. Do you have enough energy in you for one more stop? What do you have in mind? Some place cozy. With free tea. Sorry, I'm getting tired. 
Come in. You won't regret this. Let's go. Yeet. The drive to our next destination is quick. Felix doesn't even have to check his phone map and knows the route like his favorite book. What are you reading lately? There's this new fantasy novel that just came out called A Tale of Hearts and Hatches. Is it any good? Debatable, but I'll give anything fantasy a try. Soon enough, you'll pull into a little plaza where a little bookstore is the only shop with lights still on. Okay, we're going to read. This is a bit ominous. Yeah, right. It does look cozy. Yeah, I love working here. I'm sure you spend lots of time reading the books instead of sorting them. Shh, don't tell my boss. This is your other job you were telling us about, right? Yeah, I haven't been here long, but I'm really loving it so far. Surrounded by books all day? That does sound like a dream. One of them at least! Felix ushers me inside, and it's as cozy as he promised. Despite the later hour, there are still a few people browsing the shops. The other booksellers immediately recognize Felix and come up to greet him. And you must be Shukura. Felix has mentioned you quite a bit. Ooh, it's lovely to finally put a face to the name Shukura. Yeah, I'll talk. I'll talk about you, Shukura. I hope it's all good things, but knowing you. I'm flattered. It's all good things, don't worry. Well, we'll give you two help some time to your soaps. I mean, to bras. Oh my, oh my, what did you tell them, Felix? Ooh. <laughs> Jonathan, please shut up. It's a rite of passage, buddy. Felix's co-workers chuckle and then disperse back to whatever they were doing before you arrived. They seem nice. They're one of the reasons I love working here. Usually. Let me go sneak us some tea from the break room. Be right back. Okay, okay. Fall asleep in a chair. Browse the fantasy section. Browse the romance aisle. Hmm. Do he didn't mention that he really likes fantasy, so but romance though. I mean, let's go for what he likes, so... Fantasy! You look around the fantasy section. A familiar title grabs your attention. A Tale of Hearts and Hatchets. The book that Felix was reading. You gingerly take it from the shelf and flip through. Do you want to pick it up for yourself? Maybe, if you give it 5 stars when you finish it. I'll be sure to let you know. Here's your tea. Let's wrap that table in the back next to the clearance section. My favorite section. Hey, my too. You find a little table with two cushion chairs right where Phyllis described. In the wood, there are little card rooms. You'll have to come back and read through them one day. Reading? It's nice to see what people felt was important to leave behind. Lots of smiley faces. Better than the alternative, that's something. Yeah, yeah, it is. I want to write stories that make people smile, you know. It's the first time he's ever talked about writing like this. Something other than the quick deadlines and the newspapers and assignments for classes. I just want to write stories that can make people forget for a little while. Forget what? Anything that they wanted to. Once a story leaves my hand, it isn't mine anymore. And I think that's one of the best parts. 
how it appears to me is something different to another person, even though we could both enjoy it. Wow, that... A little out there, maybe. Maybe a little. No, I think that's really cool, you Felix. Wow, and you're not even doing that thing you do when you lie. Wow, Felix. Hey, I wouldn't lie about this. I'll have you know, I'm an avid reader of your stories in the newspaper. A fan? Maybe, but not sure if I'll go that far yet. But a friend for sure. And a good one. Obviously. Okay, you got your low draw for the day. Let's head back to the dorms. UDJ in the car again, wooden down the night with some comfy vibes. Leaning your head against the cold window, your mind empties, and it's blessed to be in the car with Felix and the music. It's not long before you pour into your dome. I had a nice time today. Even without the others? Yeah, even without them. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Of course. Don't be late. Oh, don't start. <laughs> Alright, good night, Shokura. Good night, Felix. Good night. Presentation day. After going to a karaoke place and a bookstore last night with Felix, you had plenty of news to relay back to Jason and Matthew for the presentation on the perfect date. There were some news you kept to yourself about your good friend Felix though. You spent a lot of the night thinking about your conversation while attempting to do homework until you fell asleep. Oh, I actually uh, skipped the other one. Whoops. Well. Ah. Bye. Well, at least this one is short, so... I'm going to put on the mini game. Okay, done. Finished. Okay. Your phone buzzes in your lap. With the utmost care and caution, you check the notification. You don't want to bring the prof's attention to you more than your timely arrival already has. It's a text from Felix. You'll do fine. We're in this together. Smiley face. Way too soon. It's time. Ooh. Felix! Felix, would you like to go on an official date with me next time? Oh wow, really? Is this a surprise? Maybe a little? I ever expected this. At least not now. What's your answer then, cat boy? Yes, yes, absolutely. I'm really glad to hear that. You have no idea how I'm glad to hear you ask me out. Wow, that was really worthy. It's cute. Shokura. You're still driving though. Not even a question. I have to go to my next class, but we should definitely plan this soon. Now it's your turn to not be late. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you later today then, Shokura. Bye, Felix. Ooh, a day official date. Nice. And dating 101 love project, class dismissed. And that should be it for a playthrough for dating 101 love project. I'm pretty sure there are also other endings, but I'm going to... And with two endings for two, the happy ending for the two reps. 
I think is happy. Kind of. Yeah, I mean, they are officially, they had some dates, official dates. They're not like um, dating, dating, but they are going to have some dates. So that's nice. And uh, it was cute. I really loved their little uh, dating section. Everyone has different dates and their events that has happened. It's very cute. There is lights of life and everything. It's pretty short though, but uh, uh, it's very enjoyable. My nitpick about it is the mini game. Some mini games are really short, like you only like do like thirty times to push the buttons and everything. But then there we have cheese and sprouts with like eighty times or something. That's pretty long. I don't think that mini game should be that long. And uh, despite the thought of the mini game is really nice, uh, I I guess it's not really rhythm. It is sort of rhythm game, but the matching to the beat is kind of not that interesting to me. I guess, but um, it's the thought that counts. So, in my opinion, it would be nice to have a, a choice to skip the mini game, but that also makes the gameplay shorter because the it's like the seconds that has passed during playing a game mostly consist of the mini games. So, in general, shorter mini games like thirty times should be a good point, not like eighty time put on smashing or something. Uh lower the volume of the MIDI game because their background music and their MIDI game music is like the volume difference is really loud. Like for example I am minimizing the background music but when a MIDI game is on it's like boom there the sound is loud. I guess that's that. Other than that uh maybe math is loud if possible <laughs> or else it's a lovely lovely story i don't follow up with another route since matthews is not the love interest and i think this will be a kind of a friendship route i suppose so we'll end up here overall a nice game need some improvement on the mini game i think and Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next playthrough of another game. Bye-bye.